Testing your app in a simulator only gets you so far. At one moment, you might want to test the app on a real device. To facilitate that, you can connect the device to the app manager. And that's what we're going to cover in our next screencast. To test applications on a physical device, we will use the app manager. You might already have seen the app manager in the video about the simulator. The app manager is part of Firefox desktop and it's located under tools, web developer, app manager. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we're currently not connected to the device. And we'll need to set up a connection between the computer and the phone. Communication between the computer and the phone happens over a developer bridge. And to enable the bridge on your computer, go into help and click install ADB helper add-on. The helper is an extension for Firefox desktop, which installs the developer bridge and allows you to debug your phone with a USB cable. After installing on the computer, we need to allow incoming connections on the phone. And this is necessary to prevent access to the phone without the user knowing it. So time to switch to the phone. We enable incoming connections in the settings app. Scroll down and go to device information. Then select more information and go into the developer menu. After clicking enable remote debugging, we're now ready to connect the device to the computer with a USB cable. You'll only need to execute these steps the first time you want to set up a debug session. The app manager now has a button at the bottom of the screen called connect to and your device ID. And pressing this button initiates the debug connection. On your phone, you will also have to accept the incoming connections, which is also a security measure. After the bridge has been established, your phone shows up in the device tab. If you select it, you'll see a list of installed apps and some properties of your device. Time to install an application. We click add packaged app and locate the app folder on disk. And this is the folder that contains the manifest.web app file. To install or update an app, all we have to do is click update. And the app now gets pushed to the device and we're ready to run it. Clicking debug opens the Firefox developer tools, which allows you to interact with your running app. And these are the same developer tools that you use when debugging websites. Here we see the HTML structure of the app. And debugging goes both ways. Touching an element on the phone will select the inspector on the computer. You can change the content of your app using the inspector and you get instant visual feedback on the phone. And you can do the same thing with CSS. On the styling tab, we can change the background of the header to orange and you can see the immediate result. Also, there is a JavaScript debugger. After typing in a new task in the app, we can step through our code by adding a new breakpoint in the click handler of the Add button. It is, for example, possible to add a watcher for the value of our input field. You'll see that changes to the document are reflected immediately on the phone. By using web technologies, we made it as easy to debug running apps as it is to debug an HTML file on your computer, without updating or recompiling your app. Now that we've tested our work on a real device, we're ready to push this app to the marketplace, which we'll cover in our next video.